Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome. This is your weekend reading for this weekend of July 19th to the 22nd in two Leo season. Happy early birthday to all of my Leo sons out there. Wishing you a blessed, abundant birthday season with many, many years to come. Let's see what your moon energy is here for you, Leo, and get your affirmation for the weekend. This is the artwork of the card. And this card says, I am a magnet to what I want. I repel what I do not want with super moon energy coming through. Leo, things are getting charged up here with the energy of a magnet coming in. When you sit in that energy of knowing of law of attraction, you understand that you have the power to do that. And I have been feeling this for you lately, and it looks like it's going to amplify in Leo season where you are going to magnetize the opportunities, the experiences, the types of people into your energy and the things that just don't resonate. They're going to be even stronger at a distance than ever before. And it's going to be something that feels so good because with the super moon energy, this is a supercharged moment to where you are in such a potent energy that the things that are magnetizing to you right now, the beauty is going to overshadow and overpass any type of repel of things you are not wanting. It's just going to feel good. It's going to feel like you're protected. It's going to feel like, wow, I didn't even have to do anything. And there it goes. So let's see what your angel is for the weekend, Leo. And we have change and transition. Exactly. With Archangel Azriel. Thank you, Azriel, for leading me safely through this change. All right, things are moving. Things are moving, Leo, and I feel like they're going to move quicker in Leo season just by the element of fire that we collectively move into, especially from a water energy. Although water does have its free-flowing qualities, when you move into a fire energy, things speed up. So a lot of your magnetism is going to speed up. Things are just going to be attracted to you in terms of the things that you want. And that's why the super moon energy is coming in as well, especially with Archangel Azriel. You see that phoenix tattooed on the chest. You may also be seeing imagery of the phoenix rising from the ashes. And in that stage, in that protection feeling, you are going to see with your abs observation energy that you are favored. You're going to actually see it. You're going to see the things changing in your life that are not things you want being replaced and removed with things that you do want. And it's going to feel like a supercharged moment. So Beautiful energy coming in here for you. Let's see what else you have coming through. Wow, you have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Exactly. So I feel like when you get the energy of judgment, this is that shift. This is that kind of eclipse charged up moment to where it's like, are you ready to let go of the old story? Are you, ready, are you ready to let go of the old life and come into that new energy? And that's why change and transition is here. You also have another card that wants to be in the reading, and it is health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So some of you may be taking on a new health regimen. That could be something that you have been doing lately or feeling the need to be guided. And I feel like for a lot of you, you may have an overall change of being. You may have an overall change of persona. You know, our bodies, when they bring up honoring the physical vessel that enshrines the soul, 
Um, that's a reason why I got into something that has to do with the body because I didn't feel like I learned things about my body as I grew up in school in the regular way of going. So a lot of you may be starting to learn different things about your body or learn th different things about health and holistic energy and coming to that realization that we are built to heal. We are built to survive. We are built in those energies of where a lot of the times things that happen in society makes it feel like our bodies are against us when actually they are not. And that is a big thing that you could be coming into. And that's how you truly have that internal magnetism when you feel it at that soul level and you're like, all right, I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for whatever health and whatever sort of movement and freedom or whatever you may be in that you may have. And even if you feel like you don't have that, somehow, some way you're watching this video. So whatever way you are, be grateful for that energy because that's the energy that brings those change and transition of specific miracles. And with super moon coming through, that gives you a sense that miracles are possible with a charged up energy, especially when things are being removed. So let's see what astrology cards you have here for the weekend. Leo, we have exactly south nodes, life debts. Exactly. You know, something could even be taking the forefront for you. You know, you may be feeling you want to get a rain on things. You want to let go of the past habits you have. And I feel like this is like the perf. You know what this type of um, energy gives me right away? It's the perfect time to become anew. It's the perfect time to transform. It's the perfect time to shed the old skin is right now. And not only in a way of outer energy, but inner energy too. So you also have, hello, the energy of the fifth house with creativity. Exactly. Leo, this is your house. So some of you may be feeling reignited creati creatively or be feeling a push to change the way you are being creative or maybe change the way you are being outward with your creations. And we have the Black Moon Lilith with Mystery. Wow, this card has come out a couple times for you when I've been using this deck here, Leo. And I feel like you are coming out of a time that was very, very uncertain and unknown to you. You were not even un you weren't only unknown about everything around you, but they were you were also unknown about everything within you. And there is going to be something that reignites that flame. There's something that's reigniting your soul. This is like soul reignite, soul spark energy, where you're actually finding that spark in the uncertainty. So let's clarify this here. Why do you have the south node of life's debts? You have the 12th house with escape. Yeah. So there are definitely strong habits that you are letting go of right now and strong energy that is giving you the powerful force and shift to let go of these things in this moment and magnetize more of what you want and become that better energy for you. So breaking bad habits is extremely beneficial for you at this moment. The, the energy is favoring it really. Not that it'll be like easy for you, but you are going to find a way to get through the energy on the fifth house with creativity. We have Sagittarius with IC. Exactly. You're finding a way out. Something is sparking you. Something is exciting you. You're like, Oh my gosh, I figured something out. Oh my gosh, I can do this. Oh my gosh. I understand clicks in your head, in your brain, in your neurological pathway, light bulbs going off in your mind. And with the Sagittarius energy of IC, this is going to expand your energy. This is going to expand your frequency. It's going to actually, you know what I'm envisioning right now? The biomagnetic field. Um, we actually watched a couple of videos on the biomagnetic field on this channel um, when I was on StreamYard, actually, when I was in the other studio room. And, you know, there are certain things um, that we do to our body that actually like hurt our frequency and hurt our biomagnetic field and don't make us as magnetic. 
So there's something here that hasn't made you as magnetic. And as you change this energy from your being, there's going to be super shifts around you. Super shifts with the super moon. And on Black Moon Lilith with mystery, first house with the body. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, they're talking about the body here. Some of you may be working out more. Maybe some of you are getting body work done more. You're going to get stretched. You're going to get uh, physical therapy. You're going to get massages. You are going to get something in the state of taking care of self. So where is your first house, Leo? Check in your chart. Some of you specifically could have a rising in Sagittarius, and this could be something that is very strong in your energy here. Um, some of you may actually even have Sagittarius in the first house in your chart, but definitely look into that. But there is some sort of, I, I love that this card came out. You're going to feel that being of light. You're going to feel that power of what you came here in that energetic energy. Honestly, like if you go like this to your hands for like a good three minutes and really just get that energy moving and, and power up those chakras. Um, I do this before I read. I do this before I do body work on people. I, I do this before literally almost a lot of things. And after you do it for a good three minutes and you hold your energy, your hands out, you're going to feel the energy. You are going to feel the tingles. So do that. And you are going to see right there on your own in your own experience where you're going to feel energy and you're going to connect to your body. And there is some really big shift here for you, Leo, that you are overcoming major, major habits that you weren't enjoying about yourself or enjoying that you were doing. Let's clarify this here. And the energy is so favoring of it. You're definitely in a, it looks like energetic. You are in almost like a healing the body stage. You know, what's really weird too. I don't know if y'all been paying attention to me constantly trying to get this card to stay back on this thing. And it just keeps like doing its own thing. I feel like they need to take it. So like after I get what was supposed to be out of here, I'm going to take that card because it has literally tried to come out and be in the reading every single time. Okay. So first card out is flow with wheel of fortune. There it is. There's a change and it's lucky. It's going to be favorable for you. It's going to benefit you where you almost felt like trapped by something or felt like you couldn't escape something. 12th house with escape Piscean energy there feeling almost in that sense of Pisces could go all the way to delusional paranoid energy to where it really takes you down, but you are finding a way to get out of something that was almost like a, a subconscious habit for you. And it could be so simple into like, <clears throat> I'm seeing someone, what's the word? Pulling their hair, like, some of you may like pull like the, the ends off your hair and like, you know, that's not good. It's something like that. It's like something, there has been something in your routine and your habitual way of being that you just subconsciously been doing and not so subconsciously to where you didn't have an awareness of it. It's just like now the awareness is so much stronger and the change in the free will of shifting it is happening and it's lighting up the body. It's lighting up your energy. It's lighting up your bi biomagnetic field that surrounds you. And that's why you have the super moon. And that's why you have the energy of being magnetic. So we have share the love with the three of cups. Exactly. There's that magnetism. There's those people that are coming your way. There's those energies and opportunities and experiences being presented to you. And we also have coming together with the two of cups. Yeah, you are literally like a magnet right now. And there is something that you are removing from your habitual energy and constant way of daily life. Like it could be anything, y'all. Um, I, I'm not going to be able to come up with everybody's examples, but it could be literally anything, drinking, smoking, um, doing something in the sense where you like the simp the, like a spirit is really amplifying for me, the simplicity of it for some reason. Um, and for some reason I'm like seeing a toothbrush 
And it's like, maybe you only brush your teeth once in a day. And you're like, no, maybe I should brush my teeth twice in a day. <laughs> and you start putting that into your routine. Like it, that, that's what I'm trying to get at here and put it towards what you may feel if this is resonating to you or not. You know, it's not, the energy is not going to resonate. But if there is something in your life that you're like, hmm, hold on, that makes sense. The energy is telling you right now it's a very favorable time in removal and escaping yourself from it. And you're going to see it in the way people, opportunity, and experiences come to you. So let's see what this card wanted to be. And we have death. Boom. Change. Boom. Total transformation. Literally. They're like, yeah. Leo's going through a full-on transformation. So let's clarify this here and get your advice and outcome. Oh my gosh, now that card wanted to be there. On Share the Love, we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, and it's going to happen fast. It's going to happen quickly. Because I feel like for a lot of you, this could have been some sort of habit that you've done for so long that you thought it was going to take forever to be removed from your energy. And you may actually be pretty surprised. And that makes sense why judgment's there. You may have this like random understanding of like, huh, all right, well, I had to get through that. I had to learn through that. I had to get to this point and being like, no, nah, I don't want to. I, I want to change this up. And on the two of cups here, we have the five of pentacles. Exactly. It's like, as you leave out the energy that wasn't serving you, the universe is going to serve you. Does that make sense? On the advice, we have the nine of wands. Yeah, you felt like you've done this for a while. You've been doing this forever. You've been feeling this way forever. If this is a specific type of feeling that you've had. You know what this also feels like? Creative block energy. If you've had a creative block for a while, this could be something that you are moving out of. Let's see, your outcome is the eight of cups. Yeah, you're definitely leaving something behind. You definitely are. And it's going to be amazing for you. Especially with the south node here. Yeah, yeah. Leave it behind. And you want to know why it was so difficult for you? Because somehow in a past life, you did this. You, you were used to it. It was familiar to you. Let's clarify this here. On the death card, we have the, the knight of cups, actually. Beautiful. Yeah, see, and that's why I feel like you have that body energy and that health energy, because as doing this, it's going to give you that, ooh, I'm powerful. Ooh, I do love myself. Look at what I can do. Look at what I can be. Look at what I can let go of. Look at what I can um, become. On the Knight of Swords, we have the Ten of Wands. Yes, this is exactly what I feel. I feel like this has been, you've been creatively blocked for so long, and you're like, yeah, um, it's going to take a while for me to get that reignite energy it's like mm -mm, it's gonna come quick and on the five of pentacles we have the queen of cups yeah and it's gonna reconnect you to your body and i love that you're getting you're getting these cups energy with connection to the the body and the health um type of vibe in terms of where if you res it resonate with like having a creative block you know like some of you may have been hard on yourself of like Say you're a painter and there's a moment when you're not painting and you're hard on yourself and you're like, oh, I should be painting right now. And then you wallow in that moment of guilt of not being creative. It's something is snapping you out of it right away. Let's clarify the advice and outcome here. It's so cute that the Queen of Cups here is a mermaid. A lot of you actually like this deck. Um... And this is by the Pulp Girls. You can look them up on Instagram. Also follow me on Instagram. Miss Machiste's Leo, I think I am on there. And Miss Machiste regular. I have two pages. On the Nine of Wands, as your advice, we have the lovers. Exactly. Exactly. With your advice being this energy, they are really showing you that some energies are going to come in and open your eyes. This is why I actually do love this deck because I love in the nine of wands that this person's eyes are closed. They're kind of like, you know what? I've been through so much. I don't even want to see anything or I don't want to do anything or I don't even want to have it in front of me. Someone, someone may also ignite this spark in you or give you that push or inspire you to let go of a certain something or situation or someone or whatever here. Because your outcome as the Eight of Cups is the Two of Wands. Oh, yeah. Are you letting go of, some, of something? Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Some of you, like, may um, survive something, quote, unquote. 
if you have like a disease or a illness or an injury that you thought was like going to last you forever or like chronic pain or something. And like, like I said before, this gives me something that you feel like you've had for a while or you've done for a while or you've been around for a while or you've been in for a while. If you feel like you've been in a creative block for a while, it's something like that. It's like all of a sudden you're out of it. All of a sudden, it doesn't have the powerful hold on you it did before. All of a sudden, you're like, yes, I'm doing this. Yes, I'm going for it. And you're going to see it in your life, in universal people, universal answers and alignments. Oh, yeah. The eight of cups, the two of wands. You're like, bye. <laughs> you're like, you don't have power over me anymore. Um, creative block or... You know, it could be like literally anything. Like some of you may even feel like you spend too much time on social media and you're like, oh, that hour flies so by when I'm scrolling. I should, you do something with that hour or maybe like walk on the treadmill while you're scrolling. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like just things like that. It's just something that feels like it's habitually subconscious. That is just being removed from the subconscious energy. And that's why the 12th house is here. That's the subconscious energy. And that's why you have so much cups. Because water is a symbol for our subconscious mind. Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. Eight of Cups as your outcome. So the Two of Wands. With that, what I was explaining earlier. That Leo fire moving into the season energy. Yes, yes, yes. And clarifying that is the Queen of Wands. Okay, no surprise. Ooh, you're going to feel real good about yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is really nice. I feel like you're going to feel creative. You're going to feel in the flow with yourself. You're going to be in more understanding of your energy. and Or that's what's literally happening for you right now. This is really beautiful. And there are people around you supporting this. And there is just some really strong, powerful energy that you are saying, you know what? You may have been a habit that or a situation or an experience or something that you subconsciously been doing that you just were like, mm, or a creative block. You just been letting it sit you in or a belief system that you are just like letting rule your life. And you're like, you know what? No. I don't have to let that rule my life if I don't want it to. And that's exactly what this reading is like screaming. So good for you, Leo. Good for you. I like that. Let's see what your ending oracle is for this weekend. If I could find where I put the cards. Oh, here it is. Okay. We're going to get it from the wisdom of the hidden realms. Leo, in terms of zodiac signs that came out in the spread that could be around you or in your birth chart, we have Scorpio and we have Gemini. We also have the 12th house here that is ruled by Pisces. We have the North Node as well. So look to see where you have your North Node. It could be in Leo. It could also be in one of these signs. You also have the first house. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> And you have the fifth house, so if you are someone who has your birth chart right in front of you, you want to see where you have those placements, and you have Sagittarius energy. So some of you may have that in your chart as well. So let's see, and or these energies could be around you. Okay. Your ending oracle, your power position for this weekend is... The Camel Boy, small steps, asking for help, card number 33. Wow, some of you born on the third. doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. I can't wait for y'all to hear this card. Okay. Here we go. When the Camel Boy arrives as your ally, he reminds you that asking for help will bring in the right people to ease the burden of your life. Perhaps a wise person appears to give you advice. Maybe you're moving and suddenly a couple of friends offer to give you a hand with your packing. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they just said that. I have something to say about that. Maybe you're moving. Okay. Or you want information about someone and you just so happen to run into its former partner who gives you the knowledge you need to, to make the decision you've been weighing. Exactly. That's why there's so many people here. Three of cups, two of cups. Okay. 
No matter the issue, this is a sign that if you ask, you will receive what you need. Synchronicity is engaged when you request assistance. The camel boy never lets you down when you ask for help in lightening your load. Now is the time to do so and expect to get it. Mm-hmm. Because something has been weighing you down. Something has been having that power over you no longer. Beautiful with the energy of 33 too. Wow. The divine assistance. All right, Leo. That's what I have here for you for the weekend. Thank you for being here and for watching. Do not forget to like this video, subscribe, ring that bell to all so you are alerted when a new reading comes out from this channel. And I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Happy early birthday to my Leo sons once again. Bye now.